Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to knit a globe. This is a fun little project that you can use as decoration or a gift for someone or a pillow. I'm doing it on a pretty small little sphere here, but you can obviously do it on a larger scale. You will need some form of a knitted ball or sphere, something that you can sew the map onto. If you need one of those, I do have a tutorial on how to knit an easy ball. The link is below in the description, so check that out first. Otherwise, let's get started. Obviously, no map is going to be scientifically accurate when you are sewing it onto a knitted ball, especially this ball is not quite a ball, it's more of a pin cushion. Um, it's very rectangular, um, but I like it. To help you out, you can use like a piece of white chalk or something that'll wipe off this easily and, and clean itself off to kind of mark out the countries and mark out where you want to do everything. So I'm going to start on the southern tip of South America, work my way up, and then I'll go over. So um, I'm going to start just making a little mark here with the white. It's not even going to show up on the camera, but that's where my tip is going to be. And then I figure the top of South America will be about here. And then from there, I'll do the US. Here's the Gulf of Mexico, and then here will be the top of Canada up here. So just really basic lines here that I've marked. Um, but that's enough for me to um, make myself aware of how much space I have left on the ball. So to start, you'll want one of these yarn needles. Um, just thread it like normal tie and knot on the end. You don't need to worry about like doubling back like you would with um, sewing thread, you're just using yarn. I'm going to start here at the tip and pull it through. When you pull it through all the way to the end, I like to make a little knot at the end of the yarn just to make sure nothing comes undone because I'm going to be pulling things pretty tight at the end. A couple different methods to doing this. I like to first outline the shapes of the countries and then go back in later and fill them all in. I obviously only know how to knit and not sew, um, so I'm just doing the most basic sewing techniques that I know. I'm sure if you are more skilled in embroidery and things like that, you'll have some better techniques than me. So I'm at the top of South America now if you can't tell, <laughs> and I wouldn't expect you to be able to tell. Um, there are these little holes in the sewing, and that is okay, because I am just doing the outline. I'm gonna go back in and go over this um, with the yarn one more time once I have the outline down. Once you have the outline done, it'll look like this, maybe a little more accurate than mine. Um, you can kind of tell what it is. So here is South America, um, here's Central America, and then North America. You can see there's Florida, Gulf of Mexico, California up here along the West Coast, and I made Alaska look nothing like Alaska. <laughs> and then over here would be Canada and the East Coast. So to fill it in, all you're going to do, here I flipped it upside down. Um, not that there's a right side up or a right side down. All you do is you start at one end of your outline and you bring the sewing up and back down on the other end and then you come back the other end. So with your thread on one side of the outline, put your needle through the opposite side of the outline and stick it through until the needle comes through on the other side and then pull it through and this yarn will start to lay down and make a nice little line there. But don't pull it too tight because you don't want to pull the fabric. And I'll do this a couple times just so you can see. Um, it'll become a little more apparent what I'm doing as I go along. Here's the very end of the thread that I'm sewing with too and I'm just slowly sewing that underneath too. Now 
Now you can see a little more of what I've done here. So here's the tip of South America. Um, it's all filled in now because all I'm doing is I'm sticking my needle through one edge all the way to the end of one edge, pulling it through, and then just barely, barely pulling it. You don't need to make it tight at all, just enough so it lays down flat, and that will make a little line there. So put the needle through one end, bring it out the other, pull it on through very, very carefully. Sometimes you can just push it down and it'll lay flat. There are the Americas, nice and bumpy. Not sure what happened with Alaska here, but it looks okay. So now for the Eastern Hemisphere, I'm going to do pretty much the exact same thing that we did before. I'm gonna outline um, basic key points on here with the chalk, then outline them in with the yarn, outlining their basic shapes, and then I'm going to fill them in just how we did with the uh, Western Hemisphere side. And we're done. So this is what it looks like after filling in all of the continents. Um, as you can see, uh, it's hard to fit all of the proper geography on a kind of a squished ball, but um, the basics are there. Um, I think my Africa looks really good. Um, I'm not really sure what happened with Europe, um, but Asia, Japan, Australia, um, got them all there. This is a fun little project um, that you can do, especially if you're doing it on like a larger ball or a larger pillow. Um, this is a good gift for kids or a fun project for kids. Um, and it looks great just as decoration. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe and like, and I will see you next time.